Now, before I start, let me just say, no, I wasn't hitting on him. I was minding my own damn business when I got up in that car and this was nothing like what happened on that fateful Halloween night with the other Uber driver. Are we clear? Good, so let's get started. Grab your wine or your juicy juice and have a seat because this one's a good one and I got that live footage so it's all real, all happened on my Snapchat. It went down in the Snapchat. It went down in the Snapchat. It went down in the Snap. So after I finished filming my dark skin kawaii makeup tutorial with my good friend Tima, you can watch that, links down below. <laughs> I called an Uber to go watch a movie my friend Nick invited me to, which was called Viva. It was absolutely excellent. You guys should go see it. Anyway, I digress. So I called this Uber and it stopped near my house, of course, and he was started talking to me and then he looks back. He did this. Like really craned his neck and looked all the way back and I was like, hello, is there something wrong? Is there something on my face? Like what? And he turned back around and faced the road and he's like, oh, you're very beautiful. And I was like, okay, well I didn't know if it warranted that reaction, but thank you. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna say no to that. Like, yeah, you're right, I am very beautiful, so. <laughs> so I thought that it was just gonna end here. <laughs> He starts telling me one compliment after the other. Like, I was like, I don't know if it warranted that reaction, like, that many times that you got to tell me. And then he starts telling me, like, I'm like a queen, like, I'm his beautiful queen. And I'm like, what the hell? And then he starts telling me a story. Like, whatever it was, it was weird. Like, I felt really uncomfortable. He just kept going. It didn't stop. And while I love a good shower of compliments, I don't enjoy that. Like at all. So this live video I'm about to show y'all starts right when he tells me about this story that he's read somewhere. And then it just keeps going for all for bear. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really nice of him. What was that? I don't want this trip to finish. I'm enjoying your company. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, what did you say? I'm not paying attention to you. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I'm like the Hershey bar that you like. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Okay. Thank you. I wish I could you <laughs> Thank you. I know. Thank you. What did you say? You don't know what I say? No. Like oh. So, um, that happened once again. See, this time I didn't initiate it. I didn't ask for anything. I didn't want anything to do with that. Uber strikes once again. So now I'm here with Nick, about to see this movie that started. <laughs> so as you can see, my Snapchat story was lit that day. So, cheers! But for real, you guys, that situation really made me extremely uncomfortable. Like, you don't know how uncomfortable it is to be in some random man's car for him to be talking to you like that about you, about your body and your person and your face. Like, it was just too much. And he kept saying that he wanted to stay with me and he didn't want to leave and that he wanted to be a little younger. Like, pfft. boy, you think that would change anything? Like, I don't know what he thought, but it was not it. If you find yourself in a situation like that, especially with an Uber driver, you need to contact them right away 
Uber the service and then immediately cancel your trip and hop out of that goddamn car. The only reason why I stayed up in that car is because I knew I was packing some pepper spray and that I have some very long, strong legs to kick him in the face with. So yeah, I was a bit equipped to handle an attack if it got down to that, but it shouldn't have to. And I also wanted to get some footage for this video because I knew it would make a lit ass story time. So yeah, I was kind of putting myself in danger for that. But you know, I also wanted to call out my driver as well. Jose, my driver, my Uber driver, at Uber, Uber, I'm adding you right now. Um, you need to talk to Jose. So that was it for my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a time where something just completely crazy, random, and strange happened with your Uber driver down below. It doesn't have to be anything sexual or anything negative like the experience that I had. Just something weird. With that being said, be safe out there, kids, and pack some pepper spray because you never know when you're going to need it. <laughs> so until next time, it has been me, Miles J, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.